Uh, I am going to share in my early experience about the Rosa Robotics. Basically, the learning curve involves the surgeons, uh, operating room staffs, and the technical associates. The Rosani system is basically a collaborative robot, and it is cut guide based. You can say the conventional jigs are robotized in the Rosa system. So basically, the scope of the Rosani system involves there are two options: image and imageless options, and it can accommodate the three implant systems: Persona, Vanguard, and Nexgen. But I used only the imageless Nexgen implants. You can see in this picture how the 2D images of the X-ray are converted into the 3D anatomical models. The steps to the Rosa involves the draping, positioning, setup, evaluation, planning, and the execution. And you can see the possible OR setup. Basically, if you are operating on the right side of the knee, the surgeon and the console of the robot should be on the right side of the patient. Draping is an most important part, and considering the sterility and draping the robotic arm and body before going to the operative field is a necessity. The tips regarding the draping is that proximal aspect of the draping should be far away from the head so as to accommodate the rosa arm. After uh, doing this one, you can get the screen picture like this when your draping is completed. You can see the pictorial representation of the draping. After the draping, next steps comes the positioning, align the aligning of the rosa. Basically, to position the rosa, you need to put it into the 45 degree angle to the body of the patient at the level of the shoulder so as to avoid the collisions. And after positioning, you need to align the rosa uh, with, uh, with reference to the knee axis. You can see now the rosa, uh, rosa is ready for the surgery. After doing the initial procedures, you can perform the incision and the put the trackers. Before going for the surgery, there are some tips as Dr. Narendra Vaidya has shown the use of the pins to retract the soft tissues so as to reduce the need of assistant and reducing the need of assistant avoid the collisions that affect the robotic arms. There are three, basically three options for performing the surgery, major dissection, gap balancing and the hybrid. I use only the major dissection techniques in average build patient with less deformity for the initial cases. So during surgery, I use the parapetalar approach uh, and pro doing the osteophytes removal, meniscus removal, and then I put the trackers outside the wound only. The one of the advantages of the rosa trackers are that small diameter gives you the less chances of the stress fracture. Also, the tracker design increases the coverage area and reduces the blind spot. The tip regarding the tibial pin placement is that you should track initially it with the camera and put 30 degree angulation medially. You can see the pictorial representation of the uh, system with the trackers in situ. Then comes the uh, femur collection and the tibia collection. Basically, since the morning, we are discussing about the difficulty in calculating the femoral center in other Cori system and the Nevio system. But I found very easy collecting the femoral center in the Rosa. You just need to collect some points so as to calculate the femoral head center. Then again, you need to collect the, some femur points so as to get the data from the knee. Tibia collection invo involves the collection of the malleoli and another tibial points. After that, you need to collect some dynamic assessment of the knee. You should get the knee range of the motion, valgus varus stress at the 0 degree, 60 degree and the 90 degree angles. And here comes the main step of planning. Basically, the planning is mostly considered and involves the mediolateral aspects and the flexion extension gaps. So, after collecting the, all this data, Rosa system will give certain information regarding the values of your distal femoral cut, proximal tibial cut, and the posterior cuts. According to that, you need to balance your flexion and extension gaps. So tips regarding the plannings are that aim is to get around 19 mm, uh, this, uh, 19 mm, uh, 19 mm around median and the lateral aspect, and you can accept the 2 mm laxity on the lateral aspect. The sequence to adjust the gap involves the, you should do more and more adjustment on the femoral side rather than on tibia. You should, you should first adjust the size of the femur, then you can adjust on the anterior cortex so as to avoid the notching. Basically on the tibia, one side should be smaller and keep the standard tibial cut at 10 mm along with the slope of 7.5 degree. Coming to the gap planning, if you are still not satisfied with your gap, to adjust the flexion gap, you can rotate the femur up to maximum 4 degrees. And so as to adjust the extension gap, you can give varus to the femur about maximum 3 degrees. And still, if it indicates some residual imbalance, then you need to go for some release after the trial. 
and I think the execution is an easy part because it uses the saw and Rosa places the zig and we need to secure it with the collaborative mode and take the cut with the saw. The flow of the cuts uh, depends on the surgeon whether femur first or tibia first and validation tool is available for the cut assessment. So whatever the time graph I have taken from the my cases, it shows that the, for initial few cases it took around 1 hour and 20 minutes for me and later on uh, the time reduced to about 55 minutes for the last 5 cases. Basically most of the times went in the patient preparation and the registrations. In summary, ROSA has small initial learning curve. It takes some time to getting used to ROSA inside the OR. You should spend some time on the planning and but execution is an easy part because we surgeons are mostly familiar with the conventional saw blade. And one of the most advantages of the ROSA system is that it gives you less ergonomic strength. But you should be ready with your conventional setup. Some pitfalls I found it in during while using this robotic system, it indicates me that surgical planning on the skin needs some experience. Also, if planning is not an appropriate, no feedback is given from the robotic system. And also large OR setup is requirement due to the bulky system and collision to the robotic arm can create problems interoperatively. Fractures on the fin holes in the osteoporotic patient can happen. Also, it is difficult to collect the data in obese patient. Some of the literature is showing that uh, initial learning curve for the ROSA in this system can be achieved in 6 to 11 cases for the operative times. Thank you.